I'm Fran Schur, and I have a master's degree from the University of Colorado. I've had a private practice as a psychotherapist and as a licensed professional counselor for about 20 years. Why do people resist this information, the information that shows that the official story about 9-11 cannot be true? What I've learned is that as humans, each of us have a worldview, and that worldview is usually formed in great part by the culture we grow up in. When we hear information that contradicts our worldview, social psychologists call the, result, the resulting insecurity cognitive dissonance. For example, with 9-11, we have one cognition, which is what, our official, what the official story of 9-11, what our government told us, what our media, media repeated to us over and over, that 19 Muslims attacked us. On the other hand, we have what scientists, researchers, architects, engineers are now beginning to tell us, which is that there is evidence that shows that the official story cannot be true. So now we've lost our sense of security. We are starting to feel vulnerable. Now we're confused. 9-11 Truth challenges some of our most fundamental beliefs about our government and about our country. When your beliefs are challenged or when two beliefs are inconsistent, cognitive dissonance is created. 9-11 Truth challenges the beliefs that our country protects us and keeps us safe and, and that America is the good guy. My name is Bob Hopper and I have a PhD in clinical psychology from the University of Cincinnati. For the past 29 years, I've been a licensed PhD clinical psychologist in Boulder, Colorado. When your beliefs are challenged, fear and anxiety are created. In response to that, our psychological defenses kick in and they protect us from, our, from these emotions. Denial, which is probably the most primitive psychological defense, is the one most likely to kick in uh, when our beliefs are challenged.